Let's start introducing a new data type called lists and a new concept called loops. Lists will give us the ability to store large sets of data, while loops will allow us to return to the written sections of our code or to rerun sections of our code. These two topics are being introduced together because lists work well with loops. Even though lists are one of the most important data types in Python, we needed to understand the basics of data types and branching statements before introducing them. So when you master this topic, you'll have the tools necessary to build a small-scale game. We'll use all the concepts that we've learned from previous course and try to cover as much new material as possible. Now, after completing this section, this course, you'll be able to understand list data types. You'll know how, how and why to use the loops and how and why to use while loops. You'll be able to understand how to work with lists and create or generate new code. Now, lists is one of the most important data types in Python. In other languages, they are also known as arrays and have similar characteristics. This is the first data collection that you learn. Later on, we'll see other data collection types and cover them as well. As usual, we'll be using Jupyter Notebook to demonstrate and run our examples. So what are lists? A list is a data structure in Python that is a mutable ordered sequence of elements. Mutable means that you can change the items inside, while ordered sequence is in reference to index location. The first element in a list will always be located at index 0. Each element or value that is inside of a list is called an item. Just as strings are defined as characters between quotes, lists are defined by having different data types between square brackets. Also, like strings, each item within a list is assigned an index or location for where that item is saved in memory. Lists are also known as a data collection. Data collections are simply data types that can store multiple items. We'll see other data collections like dictionaries and tuples in later sessions. Now, for our first list, we're going to create a list filled with only numbers. Defining a list is like any other data type. On the left of the operator is the name of the variable, and on the right is the value. The difference here is that the value is a set of items declared between square brackets. This is useful for storing similar information as you can easily pass around one variable name that stores several elements. To separate each item within a list, we simply use commas. So let's try. Let's declare a list of numbers. Its name will be nums, and then we type these square brackets and the numbers separated with commas. So let's go ahead and run that cell, and you'll get an output of 5, 10, 15.2, and 20. When a list is output, it includes the brackets with it. This current list is made up of three integers and one float. Now we can access any elements within a list. Now that we know how to define a list, we need to take the next step and understand how to access items within them. In order to access a specific element within a list, you use an index. When we declare our list variable, each item is given an index. Remember that indexing in Python starts at zero and is used with